So then the second riddle was, how then, why, why, how can this work if seeds only sit there for a week? I mean, they got to sit there a year or so until the seeds germinate. Otherwise, there's no point for the tree uh, to have the seeds dispersed this way. So what we did is we turned off the transmitters by putting them on a small magnet like this, right next to the place where they were cached. And inside the transmitter is a little switch and the transmitter makes sure that the switch is pulled and there's no signal. And as soon as then an animal would come and dig up the seed, it would pull the transmitter off the magnet and the transmitter would start transmitting again. And we would listen to the signal with our radios and we could go out into the forest, trace the new position of this seed. Now, in this way, we found out that the seeds that were taken out of these caches were not eaten, no, they were just carried a little bit further and cached again. And it didn't happen just one time. It could happen two times, three times, four times. Seeds kept moving. One seed even went, even had, even was recached 36 times. So it had 37 steps like that in a row. And this way, seeds could go up to a kilometer away. Uh, they traveled up to a kilometer and I think like the furthest went like three or four hundred meters away from its source. So that's really far and that's really good for the tree. So when we thought the seeds were eaten, in fact they were dispersed again and again and again.